All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Today, we've got another Toronto Raptors video. If you guys enjoy this video, be sure to hit that like button, hit that sub button. Let's aim for 250 likes, and I will drop one of my most favorite Raptor videos I have made to this date. So stay tuned for that. Hit the like button, hit the sub button, 250 likes, and we'll get there. Let's get into today's video. So I got the inspiration of this from, I actually watch a lot of Raptors YouTube and all that, and one of my favorite content creators for Raptors, Nate, for the Raptors in general, is Amateur Hour Sports, and he put up a poll a couple of days ago that said, where do you guys see the Raptors finishing in the playoffs, and I was blown away by the by the answers, it was like, I think it was only 17% had them missing out in the playoffs entirely. It was like almost 50% of you guys or his subscribers, his community had the Raptors being a top six seed. And that's something I totally agree with. And so, you know, being from Chicago, I don't really know too many Raptor fans. So it's hard to gauge where Raptor fans see their team outside of like YouTube videos, YouTube comments and that type of thing. So you guys know my prediction, fifth seed advancing past the first round i'm looking at this roster and i'm just like i don't understand why they won't be just a good team not only but i don't i don't understand why they will not be at least a top 10 defensive team and another reason i made this video actually was because i got a comment saying like you know uh, the raptors are just trying to pick out specific links you know, specific players and then build around them. And they're just trying to build up enough of those so then they can bring in reinforcements and make a deep playoff push. So my guess is five to six years from now, the Raptors will probably be championship title contenders. <laughs> I see them like, oh my goodness gracious. Like, you know, go look and go look at a, the Toronto Raptors roster from the year before they won the championship. Go look at it from, you know, six years ago. Things change. Things change very fast, especially when you have Masai as your GM. He has made so many moves in the last couple of years where it's just like, wow, I would have never, I would have never anticipated that. Just, I would have never anticipated that. And the list really, really could go on and on. I mean, Fred Van Vliet, undrafted. I mean, the list really could go on and on. So I look at this roster and. You got Precious Achua, you got OG, you got Delano Banton, Scotty Barnes, Ken Birch, Isaac Bonga, Chris Boucher, Sam Decker, Goran Dragic. Now, keep in mind, a lot of these players might not make the cut. I believe the Raptors currently have 19 signed players, so they got to get, they got to figure something out about those other four. So, outside of those two guys, or outside of those 10 guys, you got Malachi Flynn, Freddie Gillespie, David Johnson, you got Svi there. You got Pascal, you got Gary Trent Jr., Fred Van Vliet, Ish Wainwright, and Yuda. So whoever the 15 is, I think they are going to be just fine. And I was talking about OG a couple of days ago saying, I mean, just offensively, even if OG slightly improves next season, I believe he 100% will be an all-star. I mean, I, I really think there is nothing in his way besides a slight offensive increase to make the playoff or sorry to make the all-star team so let's take a look at their projected starting five it should go fred gary og pascal and then ken birch and obviously your bench unit is also just very very good in my opinion you probably got malachi flynn there you got chris boucher very underrated i might just make a whole video about chris boucher again because i think the last one i made actually got taken down by the nba for copyright so chris boucher brand new acquired precious achua obviously you got scotty barnes it's very interchangeable, and so while that might be the starting five lineup for most nights, it might not be the ending five most nights, I'm actually really, really, really interested to see what the Toronto Raptors draw up as far as rotations go, different game situations. I, I cannot wait to see who ends the games just in a year from now or at the end of the year next year. I, I would love to see a look into the future on 
the Raptors at the end of the season as they're the five seed about to advance in the playoffs. I would love to know who their starting five is and who their ending five is in the games because there's just so many different lineups you can run here. But that's really my prediction for this year with the Raptors is I think defensively, they're going to just be really surprising. And I, and I look at a lot of these players who might not they might not move the needle for you necessarily that much on the offensive end, but defensively, if if even just a handful of these young guys, guys like Ish Wainwright, David Johnson, Isaac Bonga, if just like even if just one of those three players comes out next season, two seasons from now, turns into something legitimate where you just help and contribute to wins and all that good stuff, that's kind of where I'm like, you know, the Raptors making the title in five six years like you know I wouldn't even be shocked if the Raptors made the finals this next season now I do think a lot of different things need to happen in order for that to occur but for me a championship the Raptors get into the championship or becoming championship title contenders I'm thinking two to three years like legitimately so that's really it for today. I would love to hear down below in the comment section, what do you think the Toronto Raptors will be ranked defensively at the end of next season? For me, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and say four. I'm going to go ahead and say four. I think that is might be a little bit of a reach, but I'm going to go ahead and put them at four. Once again, guys, I do have a link to all my socials, all that stuff down below in the bio. 250 likes for another Toronto Raptors video. That's it for today. Peace.